Allison Mosher says she and her colleagues used to investigate when TD Visa and debit cards got compromised. But two years ago, she says, that work was moved offshore to a multinational company in India. They see your birth date, your social insurance number, whether you have a checking account, a savings account, a line of credit, a mortgage, investments, visa cards, anything. TD wouldn't say how many positions it's created offshore, but said no one in Canada has lost their job. If you're taking work from Canada, Canadian workers are doing and moving it to another jurisdiction outside the country, there is job loss. In emails to go public today, bank customers said they were disgusted and alarmed, shocked and disappointed the bank is hiring supposedly cheaper labour offshore. But TD isn't the only bank to send work overseas. Scotiabank, RBC and CIBC also do it. BMO wouldn't answer GoPublic's questions about outsourcing. According to the Canadian Bankers Association, since 2012, the bank workforce in Canada has been stagnant. But outside Canada, the workforce has grown by 10%. Our regulator and the legislature should say, hey, enough is enough. We should be able to regulate this in a very transparent way to prevent the banks from doing this in the future question about offshoring of bank jobs. The federal finance minister wouldn't address a call for legislation to keep banking jobs in Canada, his office saying only in a statement that Canadian financial institutions have the flexibility to outsource certain business functions. TD Bank has lost at least one job over this offshore controversy. Alison Mosher, who first wrote Go Public, quit this morning, saying she can't support an operation she thinks is wrong. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.